What's up everybody out there in YouTube land, Wrath2501 here, here with a little bit of a gripe, bringing back some of my Wrath's rants going on here, and it's not exactly a full-on gripe, but it's something that I think really needs to be discussed and brought to everyone's attention, well at least those of you who are WoW players like me, so as you can tell from the title that this regards to the WoW token, the expansion of its use now in, uh, just, just happened. Um, today, or yesterday, I don't know when I'm going to put this video, I don't know, it might be a late thing, or I might just wait until Wednesday to put up, I don't know, but anywho, uh, basically on um, February 7th, 2017, video, let's just go with an exact date, uh, Blizzard expanded the use of the WoW token so that now you can use the WoW token on basically anything, anything that Blizzard sells in their Blizzard online store. Now, um... If you don't play WoW, so I'll just tell you what a WoW token is. A WoW token, basically for people like me, has been a godsend. What it is, is something that Blizzard has. You give Blizzard 20 bucks, and they give you a WoW token, which goes up on the in-game auction house, which has a flat price. People can't, even though it's an auction house, people can't bid on it, which I think is kind of dumb, but the the blizzard itself sets the price of the actual wow token uh, in gold so the pl the price fluctuates depending on how many people are buying versus how many people are selling i mean i back in the days of uh, wad i saw the price go all the way down to 12,000 gold but usually it flutters around 30,000 gold now this costs you like 20 bucks now blizzard is expanding its use before what you do is people would buy the uh, the wow token on the auction house pay their in-game gold and then use the wow token and it would give them another 30 days of wow time which was great for people like me who have no real money so we can continue to play wow basically for free and technically blizzard actually makes more money off of us because rather than paying 15 bucks a month somebody else is paying 20 dollars a month so it, it was basically good all around. It was good for everybody. But now Blizzard has decided to expand the use of WoW tokens because people like me, I've bitched a lot that Blizzard is selling shit super expensive on their WoW store. I have a video. I'll put a link to it in the description. Check it out where I bitch about Blizzard's stupid ass Blizzard store. About how you have to buy mounts and pets and extra just cosmetic shit. I mean, normally that wouldn't be so bad. I mean, lots of games have microtransactions, but... You know, in Blizzard, they're super expensive. It's like ten fucking dollars for a goddamn pet. That doesn't even do anything in the game. It's just there. It's just something that follows you around, and it, it's just a pet. It doesn't do anything. But it's like ten dollars, and people pay that. But anyhow, I'm getting, off, I'm getting off topic. But Blizzard has expanded. So now, instead of buying the pets and the mounts, and as I understand it, even games like you can buy Overwatch with this shit. You can pay WoW tokens, but you don't just pay one WoW token. I think like Overwatch is like three WoW tokens or something like that. So if you were to buy it, I mean, you're basically shelling out 60 bucks. Or, um, you know, if it was the original price, you'd be shelling out 90,000 gold. Which, technically speaking, isn't really bad. I mean, a lot of people have millions of gold. I don't play enough to get that much gold. I mean, I, my gold usually hovers around uh, $200,000 per character, of which I have like eight. So... That's pretty good. I mean, that's that's pretty good. I mean, that's over a million gold, but that's spread across eight characters. But I'm getting off topic here again. So this is kind of interesting. I mean, it's a cool thing. I mean, for, for the people who are basically like rich in WoW, this basically open up, opens up the entirety of the Blizzard universe to them. You know, everything. Starcraft, Warcraft. It's all theirs for the taking now. If you've got tons of gold, you can use it. And you can have all that shit. Which is actually kind of interesting, and it actually makes things pretty cool for people who don't have a lot of money. Which, it, it's weird though, because Blizzard is basically creating an entire economy. Like, their own economy. I mean, there was, if you were ever followed the news and wow, there was a story a few years back where the, the IRS came after Blizzard and wanted to tax all of the, they wanted to add a sales and purchase tax or something to all in-game gold transactions they wanted to tax players so that we so that they could get some of the gold but that it was deemed unlawful because technically all the gold belongs to blizzard 
So, and Blizzard always is in ownership of the gold, so technically nothing is being bought or sold in real life. But people were actually using World of Warcraft at the time to create their own currency. I mean, gold has actually, the golden game, most people don't realize, has actually been a real world currency for a while. People have actually bought and sold real world items in exchange for this gold. I mean, this isn't the first time this has happened, but, you know, it's actually, it is kind of interesting. It's almost like gold has become the next Bitcoin or something, which I think is kind of cool. But this new feature of the WoW token has just exploded the price of the WoW token. Since uh, you can use it for everything, um, just in just a day, the price shot up to over 100,000 gold per WoW token. Just not this today, but the day it was released, the cost shot up to over 100,000 gold per WoW token. And that, that, I mean, that's pretty bad, but that's to be expected. I mean, with something like this, of course, everybody's going to be there. Everybody's going to want it, and everybody's going to want to try to use it. But if you look at, there's a website. Um, I'll put a link to that one in the description. It tracks the price of the, the average price of the WoW token on servers based on region, like I'm in the US servers, so I checked it on region. And the price did shoot out up to like 122,000 gold, I think. But since then, it's actually come down and it's actually in the low 80s and it's continuing to drop. So I think this has just been like a hype. I'm pretty sure the WoW token will probably stay high in price probably around like uh, 60,000 gold. It'll probably keep, it'll probably f stay around there. But I don't, I think this is just, it's just the big spike that's just gonna occur. I don't think it's gonna change the game overall. You know, I don't think it's gonna be earth shattering or anything like that. The only problem I have with it is me personally and people like me who, the only reason we can play World of Warcraft is because of the WoW token. Because we, just do some stuff in the game. Oh, excuse me. We just do some stuff in the game. We, you know, do our order hall resources, order hall missions and stuff like that, and we get gold, and we do some questing, sell a couple of shits on the auction house, you know, make some shit and sell in the auction house, you know, and we rake in gold, but that's usually enough, or usually a little bit more than enough, to basically pay our, pay for our WoW tokens every month. Now, if the price suddenly explodes like this, there are people out there who literally just, without, the, without a WoW token, we can't play. Like, I can't afford Blizzard's damn $15 a month. I can't. And if the WoW token, if its price actually explodes to the point where I can't earn enough gold to pay for it, you know, I'm going to have to quit the game. So this raises a kind of an interesting question. I mean, if the WoW token price shoots up and stays up, does that mean people are going to start quitting the game? So, I mean, it's good that Blizzard has this little economy thing, but I don't know. I think they should have, personally, personally me thinking, I think they should have created a completely separate currency. Like, um, instead of the WoW token, also create something additional called the Blizzard token, which can be used for anything. Or for and for those of us who just want WoW tokens, you know, let us and just want to use the buy in-game gold and stuff like that. Just give them the WoW token, and the Blizzard tokens can be for other things. So, you know, that's just my take on it. And let me know in the comments what you guys think about this whole WoW token business. I mean, this is one of the things that is little and likely will stay little, but there's a possibility that it could explode into something a little bit more serious. So. Because I know me and my friends, you know, me, me and the guys you see in my other videos, you know, we play WoW, but the only reason we play WoW is because we buy the WoW token. We can't fucking afford that shit. We can't afford no $15 a month. That's expensive. For those of us who are poor, that's expensive. So this could cause us, definitely, if we can't afford the WoW tokens, but it will cause, it could even cause a lot of other people to suddenly start quitting, quitting the game. So... This could cause Blizzard some subscribers if if things explode. But like I said, the price of the WoW token has been going back down again. It's currently hovering around um, 80, a little bit above 80 grand for the damn thing. So we'll see how this turns out. Um, 
So let me know in the comments what you guys think about this WoW token business. If you think it's going to just get out of hand, if Blizzard's being super greedy again, or if you think this is going to really change anything in the damn game, which I don't know if it will. I, it probably won't. But uh, let me know what you think. So like, if you found this informative, like, comment, and subscribe. If you didn't find this informative, like, comment, and subscribe anyway, because I want you to. Please, please, what, please, like, comment, subscribe. I really need more. I really need more subscribers. <laughs> oh, also a little side note. Um, the channel's one year anniversary is coming uh, next month in the month of March. So uh, I'm going to be making these announcements in every one of the videos. Um, let me know if you guys, uh, what you guys want for the anniversary. Um, if you guys want a gameplay or if you guys want us to review our old, uh, some of our old skits and videos, we're gonna like react to our own reactions. So I wonder if you guys, and even to our old gameplay, so you can, we can realize just what a bunch of fuck ups we are. So whichever one you guys want, you guys want us to react to our old shit, like if you guys want us to react to either old gameplays, react to our old reactions, like some of our best videos, like the Pokemon Golder, or if you guys want us to, um, react to something like, uh, or you guys want us to do like an epic gameplay, do like a really long video where we all get involved into it, and maybe we'll do that two guys, one controller bit. So let us know in the comments what you guys want us to see. And I will see you guys next time. Tune in every day for new content. Bye-bye.